money, fame, success, and travel, well, those are just some of the perks that come with being a professional athlete. But behind all the packed stadiums and screaming fans lies a harsh reality. Many athletes are at a high risk of going bankrupt. CCTV's Tracy Tandon reports. Antoine Walker is a former basketball player and a three-time NBA All-Star. Over the course of his 12-year career, Walker made $110 million, more than four times the average player in the league. All that wealth, though, didn't stop the basketball champion from going broke. I bought a lot of expensive cars, luxury cars. Um, I love watches. I had a, um, 17, 18 very expensive watches, a lot of them custom made. Um, also, I like to shop a lot. I wore a lot of designer suits and custom suits as well. Um, and then just taking care of a lot of people. In addition to spending big, Walker also spent badly, snapping up 146 properties across Chicago just a few years before the global financial crisis. When the housing crisis struck in 2008, Walker lost almost everything. And two years later, he filed for bankruptcy. You never think about uh, not having money when you, when you make that type of money. It's, it's, it's something that never crosses your mind. Walker's story is a familiar one in the sporting industry. Boxing legend Mike Tyson made and lost $400 million during his career. Tyson's boxing rival Evander Holyfield also filed for bankruptcy. Soccer player Diego Maradona, NFL's Johnny Unitas, and NBA player Allen Iverson have all declared bankruptcy. Overspending and failure to plan are key factors. Experts also say professional athletes lack financial knowledge. There was one case of a baseball player who got a $1 million signing bonus. And six, seven, eight months down the road, the team realized, the front office, that, that their accounting didn't quite match up because this check hadn't been cashed. So they called up the player and they said, hey, what did you ever do with this $1 million check that we gave you? Did you cash it? He said, oh, no, I framed it. And he had no idea that this was a legitimate financial instrument that he had to go out and, and cash. And they said, listen, we'll, we'll send you a copy if you'd like to frame it and memorialize it. But you've got to go and, and cash that check. But this is unfortunately the mentality that a lot of these sudden overnight multimillionaires are dealing with. According to Sports Illustrated, two years after retiring, more than three quarters of NFL players are bankrupt or in financial stress. NBA players face a similar fate. Five years after retirement, 60% of the players are broke. Using the word no, not taking care of so many people, um, be a lot smarter as far as investing. I would not invest while I was playing basketball. I would have waited till my career is over with, uh, where I can really watch the money, be on top of it, um, where I can really educate myself. I think um, when you're playing and playing ball nine, 10 months out the year, that's what your focus should be on and, and just enjoy your career. Most professional athletes only have around six to eight years that are really considered the peak earning years during their careers. So many experts agree that it's crucial for these athletes to be prudent about their money today so they can secure an income for tomorrow. Tracy Tandon, CCTV, New York.